you would have to make an additional $269,000 to be considered as attractive as a man who makes $62,000 and is 5'11". And I think it was like $26,000 or something that was the average amount of money you need to make per inch to be viewed as more attractive. Um, so I found um, this old study that's now being talked about again. So I wanted to talk about it too, because this for me is a good example of why we need more women in STEM. Yeah. So in, I think it was 2006, but don't quote me on that. Researchers from the University of Chicago and MIT joined forces to see if there was any scientific proof to the idea that women prefer taller men. Mm -hmm. Because we all hear the phrase tall, dark, and handsome. Everyone's always like, yeah, why do I tell my height and my bio? Yeah. And it's like, because I want to know. Because I'm a curious little kitten and I want to know the answers to all my questions. If girls need to know how tall we are, then we want to know their tit size. Yeah. Can't and it's tell. like, by the way, you can see my tits in every photo. I can't tell how tall you are. So there are certain <laughs> things that I wear on my sleeve that you do not. And this, what they found is that one, yes, women do prefer taller men. And two, if you're a tall man, you don't have to earn as much money to be viewed as attractive mm -hmm. as short men do mm -hmm. so the team there are three researchers and they looked at information from dating apps of approximately 2200 users great sample so a lot of people um in major cities in the united states and here's what they found physical attractiveness is important to both genders but women have a stronger preference for the income of their partner than the men, mm -hmm. probably because of the wage gap. So women care more about how much you're making, probably because we can't make as much. Yeah. This is my guess, but I think it's right. And mm -hmm. also, like, um, motherhood staying at home, like that. Exactly. Because of the world we live in, men are expected to be the, the breadwinners. Bread that yeah. is changing, of course. But especially back in, like, the early 2000s when the study was done, I have to assume that's resoundingly true. Mm -hmm. So the median mm -hmm. height... The median height for men is 5'11 and a half, and the median height for women is about 5'5 five, five and a half. Women have a preference for men who are at that median or taller, so 5'11 or taller. Wow. But if you're a short man, you can have the same amount of attractiveness if you make enough money. So, for example, if you're someone who's 5'2, you would have to make an additional $269,000 to be considered as attractive as a man who makes $62,000 and is 5'11". And I think it was like $26,000 or something that was the average amount of money you need to make per inch <gasps> to be viewed as more attractive wow. or as attractive as the median. Oh my goodness. And so when this study came out, everyone was like, women are so shallow. Like if you're short, you need to make a bunch of money to be like considered attractive. Oh, this is their mess they made. But... Yes, but also this study included men's preference for women's heights yeah. and how much money a woman would have to earn to accommodate for their preference for short women. <laughs> Do they make less money for how short they are? So for women, it's kind of inverse. Yeah. Men prefer short men or men prefer men prefer short women. Right. So women Us. who are 5'5", five, five, the average, um, that's the median, right? Uh -huh. And if you're shorter than that, you don't need to make as much money to be viewed as attractive. Right. Good thing I'm we're five two. But <laughs> for women who are five, seven and above, there is no amount of money that you can make that will make you <gasps> more attractive to men. Oh. It literally says not feasible. So where women were giving a dollar amount where it's like, nah, I guess I would date a guy who's like five two if he made like three hundred thousand dollars, men were like, Oh, a five eleven woman? Never. I don't care how much money she makes. So my feeling about this is like, yes, I think that beauty standards and height standards or whatever you want to place importance on is totally your prerogative. And is it shitty that women like taller men? Sure. But both genders have a clear height bias and only women are saying you can buy my love. Because it's about it's about subordination, dominance, control and security. Yeah. Women are put in a position of needing to base value on financial yeah. gain. Men are not. Yeah. So when women are saying, fine, I have a price, it's only because we need that price. <gasps> we need more women in STEM to look at this data and say, actually, what this is communicating is that women don't have enough earning potential on their own that yes. they can put a price on attractiveness. This is about a wage gap like you started out with. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> I was annoyed at this study because it was like, the take on it when it first came out was sexist. It's like, yeah, I guess women like taller men, 
but also it is sexist women should get paid men. more so uh my brother's <laughs> dating uh his girlfriend is a lot taller than him he's a short guy he is a doctor but um how to spot a feminist is he a feminist because he's shorter than his girlfriend or is he a cuck <laughs> to say? only him only him <laughs> now in honor of 6-9 day which mm-hmm. June 9th.